So what was it like for you relaunching Trap Flicks? Because, see, I recall getting a tablet with Trap Flicks already on it, sir. Yes, yes. And that was before folks even was even thinking. This yes. was like seven, eight years yes. ago. Yes, bro. You know, um, in, 20, in, in 2014, I did 10 movies. Mm-hmm. And I tried to do a deal with Netflix. Yeah. They offered me $15,000 per film, but... I would have to give them the film exclusively for mm. five years. So they offered me $150,000 yeah. for all 10 of my movies that I made here in Atlanta, yeah. Chicago, New Orleans, uh, Alabama, California. But I was like, something telling me, like, that's just, I, I mean, I wanted the money. Yeah, but that wasn't enough so, for no 10 whole damn movies. Yes, so what I did was, in 2015, I said, I'm going to start my own Netflix and just call it Trap Flicks for all the hood movies. Mm-hmm. Tubi mm-hmm. started in 2014. Oh my I started God. in 2015. They didn't have as many hood movies. They had movies that they licensed. And then Tubi saw Trap Flicks that I had the hood movies. So they started letting anybody with a hood movie go on Tubi. And then in 2016, I went to China Cause I said, well, shit, I got software. I need to be like like Steve Jobs. I want. Mm-hmm. I mean, I want to be like Steve Jobs. Exactly. So I want. I want to go make my own tablet and put my app on my tablet because in China they don't care if yeah. you got the money. They will make your own phone, your own tablet, your own TV, whatever you want. So I came home with three thousand tablets mm-hmm. with the Traplix on it, and then I said, well, I'm gonna sell my tablets. Yeah. Somewhere around in the middle of 2016, some problems and lawsuits start coming for trap flicks, disagreement, different shit. So I was, I had to shut it down, right? When I shut it down, I realized I messed up. I shouldn't have shut it down. I should have just kept Fought it up. through that thing. Because now software is a big thing now. And everybody's starting the same apps. Jay-Z started title after trap flicks i was there so when i saw everybody these powerful people making these apps and now they selling the app a percentage of it for all these hundreds of millions i'm like i need to give me another app but when i start pursuing trying to get it done in america they was talking 150,000, 200,000 to make a streaming platform so my people told me hey fig you know in africa the software people was over there too mm-hmm. they in india they in China, they in Dubai, and they in Africa. If you find somebody in Africa, mm-hmm. not if, you have to find somebody in Africa that do software, you could make trap licks again for cheaper over there, then come back to America. And that's the plan that I did. I said, I ain't going back to America if I don't got no trophy. So coming home, uh, uh, I would say I've been in business now for probably 45 days. I'm still early. Yeah. But Traflix is relaunched. I just shot a new movie, me and Barbara T, called Bullies Never Die. Yeah. That's my first one that I just put on my own platform. So it's it's, it's I'm starting again now. Everything starts again now. How do the folks go about getting Traflix? It's free. You download it on the iPhone or mm-hmm. Android. It's okay. a free app, no money involved. See, this is one of the reasons why I love talking to JT, because every time he shows up, he's on some futuristic shit, okay? I remember seeing that app before Tubi, okay? It was flat out Tubi before Tubi. That's just what it was. So now I'm looking at that, and I'm like, okay, I saw that eight years ago. Yes. Where's the game going now, though, JT? Because, see, I need some of this futuristic game so I can apply it now. For anybody that's a rapper, they have to make an independent film. They could say, well, I don't want to do that. I just want to make videos and do shows. Okay, that's cool. A person that shot a movie on an iPhone can load it on Tubi and make more than one of the hottest rappers right here. Every three months, you're making a hundred some thousand dollars because they pay every three months. Mm-hmm. But on Tubi, they have commercials coming on all through your movie. Unless you pay for the subscription, then the commercial's gone. Mm-hmm. So either they, either you're going to pay to enjoy these films yeah. through subscription, or we hope you don't because we want the commercials the to come on, and now we make a portion of the ad and the person who owned the film. So the futuristic movement of what's happening 
It's independent films. We don't want to just hear you, and we don't want to just see your music video. We want to see you act out some of that stuff you're talking about, whether it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. We want to see you do it. What was it that made you not concede and go with Tubi and say, you know what, I need to relaunch Trap Flicks? Um, I have over 50 films that I know I'm going to possibly put on Tubi. Okay. But my ego as a man said, Fig, you was first. <laughs> <laughs> Just make another one and restart again. Yeah. Rebuild your shit again from scratch, my yeah. nigga. And you in Africa. So I, I lost money with maybe four companies, but the fifth company that I got with, mm -hmm. they the ones who put it together. And now I'm like, boy, I'm finna start bringing software back to America because there's other people that want that same platform. And I'm gonna do like, instead of Steve Jobs, he said, I'm only gonna keep my platform, my uh, software system on Apple. Mm -hmm. But Bill Gates said, hmm, I'm gonna buy this program called M MDDOS. He bought it for seventy-five thousand, fifty to seventy-five thousand. He took the the software, the Microsoft. Before it's called Microsoft, it was called MDDOS. Mm -hmm. He tweaked it a little bit, called it Microsoft, trademarked it, did all his domain shit, and then brought it to IBM. IBM had a great computer, but they didn't have no operating system like Microsoft. That's right. So when he did the deal with them. Within four months, he did a $20 million deal with IBM, but he didn't sell it to him. He licensed, licensed it. it. And then from there, when IBM started doing good, all the other computer companies started to call him for that same operating system. Yeah. So he licensed it around to all the computer companies, and that's how he was able to make billions of dollars like Steve Jobs and them made billions. Yeah. He made his billions by making his software exactly. available. And I thought I should do the same with Traflix. Everybody want their own platform right now. And nobody's <laughs> selling software, so I'm coming back as a software seller. Not just a movie or an artist or like, no, no, no. I got software, I got developers, I got engineers yeah. that can make any type of app. So that's my, that, that, that's my personal vision. But I knew it don't start till I come home and be successful with what, what Traflix supposed to be. So I'm finna load it up with a bunch of new movies and network with the people who can't get on Tubi because everybody just can't get on Tubi. That was a fact, too. Get in here with because I know you over here, like, you done learned so much. In the last <laughs> oh, year. no, you yeah, know I don't learn so much. I, I would ask you, uh, now, what if, you know, it's a guy like me and I, you know, I made a movie, I, you know, would you would you deal with me? You know, I could I could I third you. party go through you? You know what I'm saying? If I can't get to you, Tubi, you can say, hey, JT, I got a couple of these movies right here. You could deal with me direct. And you could go to Tubi because as a filmmaker, never do exclusive deal unless they give you the money that make your family smile. Correct, correct, correct. If your correct. family don't smile, don't don't. But you but you are open to uh, receiving different uh, projects from you know from different people, right? Exactly. You know, different artists yes. and stuff right exactly. now. See, that's what I need to know right now because I got this uh, movie that I'm thinking about. It's called uh, He Tap Dances, <laughs> okay. and uh, it's about a guy that came up from the radio station. He tap dances way all the way up. Made a million dollar podcast, and you know what I'm saying, and they just be telling everybody to go to hell. You telling everybody to go to hell? He yeah. Now. Yeah. I like sound that. Uh, but as long, as long as we don't know who this person is, that could be anybody. Because <laughs> anybody. when you talk about me, nigga, I don't tap dance for no damn body. I don't do no tap dance. <laughs> Shit. That's just a running joke that we got on here, JT, that he pisses me off with every damn day. Hey, man, okay.